Hi everyone, welcome to my building an EXE.js application using modern toolkit series. It's episode 7 where we will discuss advanced features of the grid component. Let's look at the grid component that we are using for the desktop version of our application. This grid includes uh, only three columns, year, team 1 and team 2. Pretty simple view. And uh, that's how our grid will look like at the end of this episode. It will include index column, year column will be uh, marked in a bold, uh, stage column, team A and team B with uh, flags uh, for every country, and a score uh, column with the result of the game. To display Flags in team columns I have created a collection of PNG files and every file includes a flag for a particular country. But the thing is that in a file name there is only two letters code for a country. But our FIFA matches JSON file includes only three letters code for every country. So we need a kind of mapper that will map our two letters code into three letters code for every country. So I have created a special mapper country codes JSON file that will map every country name to two letters code and to three letters code. And I have put it into data folder. And I have copied a folder with flags into images folder. You could find both resources into uh, GitHub repo for this course. Now we need to load this data into our application. Let's create a, a model and a store for this. Let's name model flag and a store flags. We will not define any fields into our flag model, just extend it from a base model. And our flag store will be a bit more sophisticated. We will extend it from a normal uh, data store. We will specify alias and store ID for our flag store. We specify that we would like to use flag model for this store and load this store automatically. Uh, when store will be created. In the proxy we just specify um, path to our country codes JSON file to load data from this file. And we specify one additional method to our store uh, get country code. This method will return two letters uh, country code for every country name. Now let's use this data into match model. Let's add some additional fields. We specify a home team name and a way team name. Uh, these fields exist in our data stream we just specified. And we add two additional uh, fields, home team code and a way team code. And both fields are, will be calculated based on home team name and a way team name uh, values. Uh, to calculate this value, we just use our um, uh, flex store and uh, its get uh, country code method and return two letters um, country tag for a particular country. We will use this data to display flex in our grid. So we use our flex store to calculate values for every match record. It means that flag store should be loaded before matches store. So let's um, remove uh, auto load uh, true uh, configuration parameter from our uh, matches store. Now let's go to our main view model where we use uh, our matches store and specify another store, flag store. Type 
flex and we add a listener for load event. So once our flex store will be loaded on flex load method of our controller should be called. Now let's define this method in our view controller, main view controller. Uh, once flex store is loaded, we just get access to our mesh store using view model and load it. Now let's modify a columns array of our matches grid. Year column just take data from a year field, but uh, we uh, specify that text in this column should be bold. We use user CLS property for cell config. We have added stage field and score field. And also, uh, we have renamed our Team 1 and Team 2 columns to Team A and Team B. And in Team A column, we uh, use uh, HTML code and bind values for, from a record to text in our column. We bind uh, record.home team code. Uh, and uh, bind this value uh, to specify source property of uh, image that will correspond uh, to a flag for the country. And we also um, bind uh, home team name to spam element. We perform the same for team B. Uh, for score field, we bind uh, home team goals, away team goals, and win conditions. To be able to get access to a record property and uh, get reference to field names, uh, to get uh, field values like record.home team goals, uh, we need to specify one additional property on our grid and tell. Uh, item config uh, view model equal to true. It means that our record uh, property uh, matches record in our case will be sent into um, every row in a grid and we are able to use record uh, property in our bind descriptor. Uh, now let's uh, specify CSS styles for flag div and for uh, team label span element as well as for a bold class that we use for year column. Uh, we specify these styles into matches view SSS file. Name of this file corresponds to our matches view JS file. It means that during build process styles from this file will be automatically loaded. So we specify styles for flag element, image inside of it, and uh, team label, and bold. Uh, so we just defined width and height of um, uh, uh, images for flag and also uh, that our team label should be displayed next to our flag. Save it. Now let's restart our server because we have um, changed uh, some file names and added new files. Now let's look at our app in browser. It looks nice, but let's add two more things. Row number column and highlight all finals using light gray background. Let's go back to our matches view and to add uh, one additional column, row number column, we just need to add uh, additional uh, property, row numbers and specify header for this column. Now let's add a CSS class to every row in our grid. For this we add additional property into item config and we bind CSS CLS class to um, value of uh, stage field and this value will be lowercase. So for example for final uh, 
record that uh, corresponds to final, we assign uh, class name, CSS class name, equal to final to our role. Now let's define this class name. Go to um, matches view as CSS file and define this class. Final background color light gray. And one short note. For team A and team B, we have specified additional uh, property and code HTML equal to false. We have done it to tell framework that our uh, HTML code that we have used in bind descriptor like div elements, image element, all this code should not be encoded. It should be inserted into grid cell as it is. And this is final state of our grid. We have index column with uh, row number and uh, we have team A and team B with flags and also we mark all uh, records that are finals using a uh, light gray background. In this episode, we have enhanced our grid component and in the next one, we will perform similar improvements to our list component.